So we are back once again in the amazing Crocodile Creek. Best way to rope up in here, regardless of what kind of vessel you are, uh, two lines at the back. There is a strop at the back on the rock. It's been there for years and years on either side, port and starboard. We've connected about 100 metres of rope, twin 50s to that. Um, it's important to have that one on there because you will drift over as the tide comes back in and there's a big knob of rock over in that corner and you don't want to um you'll naturally drift into that if you're not tethered on your port side over there and then up the front the strop is gone finally it's been about eight or ten years and it's finally not there anymore so we've just put a looper rope around a uh a natural rock feature up there and you can see the ladder is just about to well it has come out the water since we've arrived uh, that's about a 12 or 13 meter high ladder so there's a lot of water to come out of here tonight the top pool is connected to the bottom pool um, the waterfalls will re reappear during the night that means of course crocs can swim in there so you should always exercise some caution before going uh, and jumping into that pool but a lot of people do I've never heard anyone having actual an incident up there to the left was the old um, clubhouse of sorts where all the yachties and passing people in boats would leave some kind of memento. It was washed out in a flash flood, flood probably five, six years ago now. And the remnants of it are out the front, causing a bit of an obstacle at a medium to high tide. Uh, the framework and the roof is sitting there. You'll see it at low tide as you come in. So once again, we're at lovely Crocodile Creek. Tim's rafted up nicely next to us and um, we'll spend the night in here once again. <laughs> 